Hi, everyone. I'm Sally Wilson. I'm a trauma buster and performance empowerer for high achievers in the sports, performing arts and business world. And I have with me once again, the wonderful Judith Richards, creator and founder of the Richards Trauma Process. Welcome once again, Jude. Thanks, Sally. It's always a delight. <laughs> and today, Sally, we're going to talk about a really interesting topic. Uh, and that is what they don't tell you about the law of attraction. Mm. Now, lots of people have seen the film The Secret and have read the books about the law of attraction and gone to courses about the law of attraction and somehow it's just not working for them. There's a big piece of the puddle, pu not the puddle, of the puzzle, <laughs> big piece of the puzzle that has not been included. Mm. So let's lift the lid on what that is today, Sal. Okay, go for it, Jude. <laughs> okay, <laughs> it's we are programmed from even before we're born. We take on ideas of whether we're safe, whether we're loved, whether we're wanted, and then we're born. And for some people, that's a life threatening experience. And then for the first seven years, we're a little sponge. We're taking on our whole programming for the rest of our lives. We're taking on ideas from people in authority. Um, we're taking on ideas through our, our tiny little person's perception of what's going on. And, and then we can be 50 and still running our life from that perception of the three-year-old. Mm. Sorry, but that's what happens. So, for example, just give you some examples. So, for example, um, if a primary caregiver leaves, just say mum and dad break up and one parent leaves, and we might be four or five years old, whatever, that little person is egocentric. If they draw a picture that they they put themselves in the middle and mum and dad and the siblings and cat and dog, everyone around, so so that everything in their world revolves around them. They think that they are causative, that they are the cause of dad leaving or mum leaving. If only I was a better kid. If only I was better behaved. If only... I just did what I was told. If only I was obedient mm. and didn't talk back. And then it, because it's my fault that my mum's left, it's my fault that my dad's left. And, we, and that sets up this core unconscious belief, which because these are stored in the unconscious, <laughs> that everyone who's supposed to love me will leave me. Mm. It's not safe to love or leave, be loved. Mm. Everyone who's supposed to love me will abandon me. You can't, it's don't, don't love anybody. So what are we talking about with the conscious, unconscious? You know, the conscious mind um, is being shown, runs the show about 5% of the day. And we think that's the master. No, the master is the unconscious, which runs 95% of the day. It, it runs every chemical reaction, every electrical response in our body. It runs how we think. It runs these programs, these core unconscious beliefs that we take on when we're little, like the little grade one teacher who says you'll never amount to anything, you'll never be good enough. Mm. Like the parent who says, oh, that's quite a good report card, but what about this A minus? Mm. And you didn't get an A for your piano exam? Mm. What's going on there? Even if said in jest, yeah. setting up that the child is only worthy of love if they perform. So it sets up a, a history going forward into adulthood of perfectionism and overworking and um, trying to please. And in terms of, you know, wealth and success, the unconscious core belief can so easily become, I don't deserve what I want. It's not safe for me to stand out. It's not safe for me to be successful. It's not safe for me to be wealthy. No. Or, you know, if they're, if someone's been brought up with, well, only, only bastards have money. Yeah. Good people don't have money, and the un and the unconscious is going. Well, you're a good person, so we're not going to have any money. Mm. And so you sweat and you work and you save and you get a stash, and something happens. The dogs get into some poison in a neighbor's yard, or or, or something happens. The car mm -hmm. blows its gasket. Mm. <laughs> something yep. happens, and there it is. It's gone. Yeah. And and we stay on that treadmill, that little mouse wheel, running and running and running, and. No matter how hard we try, no matter how much conscious effort we put into, I will succeed. It's not going to happen. The footballer who's who's 
who's tagged as a, a little kid as being he is a future superstar mm. and gets to being a teenager gets to up the ranks a little bit and he's people are starting to notice him more more and more people so and and the the programming that he took on when he was little can kick in like it's not safe as you said Sal to stand out to be outstanding to be successful and I don't deserve to mm. be successful mm. in order to be safe I have to be invisible and silent yeah and so what will happen is sports injuries cruciate yep. ligament will go a mm-hmm. hammy will go a knee something will happen and or anxiety will pop up and they won't be able to perform exactly exactly yeah. So what we need to do in order to up our performance, what we need to do in order to use the law of attraction is to have our conscious mind and our unconscious mind in sync so that our conscious is actually agreeing, yes, it's safe for me to be successful. It's safe for me to earn truckloads of money. It's safe for me to stand out and be outstanding. Mm. It's safe for me to show who I am. Yep. Because if that if that doesn't happen, <laughs> you, you really are just pushing custard uphill with a fork. I mean, you really don't stand a chance. As you say, you know, the subconscious mind is so much more powerful than the conscious mind. Well, at least it runs our lives the vast majority of the time. If it's not on board, we're just, you know, it, do, it doesn't dreaming. matter how motivated, how hardworking you are, how intelligent you are. Something's <laughs> going to go wrong. Yeah. And it will go wrong again and again, and that will be your pattern. Yeah. Because the unconscious will keep you safe. And if it's not safe to be out there in the world and standing out and having money, yep. forget it. And you can change those unconscious core beliefs. Oh, yes. <laughs> it only takes minutes. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, you know, so that you can do that with TRTP. It's the first thing we do in the first session. Yep. Um, so all those people who are, who are listening going, oh, God. I have been trying so hard for so long. Again, this is not something, as Judith said, this is not something that needs to take a long time. Uh, it can be uh, uh, uh. really quite quick. I mean, that is the power of the mind if you know how to use, how to work with the subconscious mind. Ah, uh, yeah. And that's the secret. And that's why affirmations don't, that often don't work because yeah. we say, it's now Christmas and I'm earning this much money and your unconscious goes, yeah, right. <laughs> as if. <laughs> you're yeah. dreaming yeah and and there'll be self-sabotage this is where self-sabotage com- self-sabotage comes from in relationships if you've got the unconscious core belief that's not safe to love and be loved mm-hmm. everyone who's supposed to love me will abandon me well you'll get in first and you'll sabotage the relationship yeah because they're going to leave anyway and the great thing about this knowledge is that yes our subconscious will orchestrate our own disappointment and it can al- also orchestrate our own triumph Absolutely. Our own thrival, right, Jude? Yes. You go from survival to thrival. (laughs) (laughs) And things become so much more easy. Yeah. Less more fun and lighter. (sighs) Yeah. Yeah. Well, on that note, I think that's a good good place to leave our guests. Thanks again, Jude, and, and thank you, everyone, for joining us. Thanks, Sal. Thanks, everyone. Bye. Bye.